Hello, my name is Randy Robinson. I'm the National Sales Manager at Civicon. Today we're going to talk a little bit more about the Civic Control air control systems that we offer. Uh, the two systems that we have are the Civic Control and the Civic Control 2. So the part numbers for these units are the Civic Control is an MCP. Uh, you'd use this style panel when you're operating uh, a manifold, an air operated manifold. You'd use this style on a standard petroleum trailer where you're just controlling internal valves and vents. MCP, SCP. So by looking at them, the, as you can tell, they're, they're not real, they don't look very different. So the, the best way to tell if you're not sure which one you have is to have a look at the back sides of these units. So I'm gonna flip these over real quick. The manifold control panel, the MCP, uh, has a much larger control bank down here. That's the easiest way to notice. You'll notice there's three ports on the top here. Where on the SCP, it's a much smaller bank and you only have the one port on that stackable air block. And I'm working off of uh, the manual here for the MCP and SCPs. You can find this online uh, if you need help uh, with what the ports are and where they go and what they do. So please check out our website for more information on the schematics and the labeling of the ports. Okay, so uh, let's take a second here to talk about the, the different ports that you see on these, these panels. Right now we're looking at the back side of an SCP control panel. The first, uh, the first port here you'll see is this TEED unit here on the side. Uh, this is where your main air comes into. So you can see it's connected to the pressure gauge and it's also connected to the main air port, port number one on your master. So it's this port here in the middle. These ports here on this side, while we're on this side, are exhaust ports. Um, you don't really need to focus on those. Just make sure that they have a little pigtail air fitting on them just to keep the dirt and debris out. So jumping over to the other side, uh, this port down towards the bottom here, port number four, if you could see it, this is the feed out or up to the vapor vents. So this port will connect to your vapor vents and the return port from the, your vapor vents comes down into this port here on your pop-up indicator. And you can see it's also connected to port number one on the stackable unit at the bottom. Okay, so you'll notice off the master as well, you'll see this port number two, which is this port here in the middle on this side. It is also connected, if you follow this loop down, it's connected to port number four on the stackable unit. What that does is it's a reset feed. Anytime this stackable block has an air signal to it, it's gonna retract or suck those knobs in. And you can see it's getting its feed to do that from the master. So anytime the master is closed, it is sending an air signal down to close the stackable unit. Finally here, we have the compartment uh, ports here. So this is when you pull the compartment switch on the control panel, this is the air feed out to your uh, emergency valve. So this goes to each compartment, each emergency valve that you see here. Okay, so here we're looking at the back of an MCP control panel or the control panel you would use for an air operated manifold. So we'll start here on the, the pressure gauge here. So this is where you'd connect your main air, your pressure gauge and port number one, which is this middle port that you can see right here, is your main air port for your master as well. The, the other ports you see on this side, uh, port number three and five, three and five are exhaust ports. You come over to the other side, uh, port number four, which is this lower port right here. This is the port that sends air up to your vapor vents. When that air goes up to your vapor vents, goes through all your vapor vents and returns back, it comes into your pop-up indicator and it also goes to port number one on the side of the manifold here. And uh, you probably can't get a good look at it, but on the side of this block, all the ports are labeled. So the other port that we have on this side is uh, port number two, which is this middle port right here. Port number two goes to port number six on the manifold block. What anytime port number six on the manifold block has an air supply, it's gonna retract or suck those knobs back in. And so the master, when it's pushed into the closed position, is sending air to this port here. And finally off the master here, we have a port labeled port R. This is the reset port for the master. So typically you're gonna see the feed from your e-stop come into this port right here. Okay, so let's talk about the manifold compartment fittings that you see at the top of this thing. So if you look here and they're all the same, but you'll see port number two, four, and seven. So what you have here, 
port two is the air open to the manifold. So it sends air to open the manifolds. Four sends air to close. And it's not really a close the manifolds since they have, a, they have a spring. It's really a hold down for the manifold. And port number seven is the reset for this individual compartment. So anytime this, this port has an air feed, it's gonna lock out that particular compartment. And that, this runs true for uh, the whole bank of compartments. What we're looking at here is an SCP that we've hooked up to an air supply. And uh, what I was gonna do is I was gonna walk through uh, what would happen when you, how you interact with this panel. So the first thing you do when you wanna load or unload an SCP panel, the first thing you do is you pull your master switch. So when I pull that switch, what it's doing here is it's sending air from the master up to the vapor vents and then back down and giving you this pop-up indicator. And that same air feed is really unlocking your compartment knob. So what that does for you is it makes sure your vapor vents are open when, uh, when you go to load or unload the trailer. Okay, so let's have a look at the back side of this control panel here. I've also hooked up, connected some pop-up indicators here to simulate the internal valves. So I'm gonna walk through here and open up all the compartments and you'll see that's sending the air feed to the internal valves. If I were to come through here and I'm gonna hit the master switch closed without touching the compartment knobs, you see it, it, it closes your internal valves. I'm gonna flip it over here one more time. You, you, you will not have access to the compartment switches until your master is open. So you, these knobs won't pull out, pull my master, my vents open. I can net, now have the compartment internal valve switches. Let's take a look at the MCP, the manifold control panel here in a little bit more detail. So uh, I, I've hooked this up to an air supply. And so let's, first thing you'll do is you'll pull your master switch and you'll see that you get the pop-up indicator. What again, the same thing that's happening here is when you pull your master and the manifold, in the case of a manifold, it's opening your vents and your internal valves and you're getting a feed back through this pop-up indicator letting, uh, telling you that that did indeed happen. When you get down to the manifold controller here, so I'll kind of tilt this to the side, I've, I've plumbed in some pop-up indicators here just for demonstration purposes so you can see what happens when I cycle the knob. So you'll see we have hold down air being applied. When I cycle the knob, air switch is just open. So close, open. So you'll see that trigger back and forth. And then same thing here, if I were to close my master, uh, sucks the knobs in, and uh, everything comes closed. Okay, I wanted to take a second here to talk about a couple basic troubleshooting uh, areas on these control panels. And this really runs true for both MCP and SCP. If you ever come up to one of these panels and try to pull your master out and it's fighting you or uh, air sucking it back in, uh, the first place to look is your e-stop. Your e-stop could be sending a signal to it and the, the control is actually doing what it's supposed to. So make sure your e-stop feed, whatever's going to that reset port, that there's not air going to it. The other thing is if you, the master and the con compartment knobs talk to each other. So if you have an exhaust leak, either in the compartment side or the master side, you re really wanna isolate the master from the controls and, and understand where that leak's coming from. So if, if if you have a leak coming from your master, does not necessarily mean your master is bad. So hopefully you found these videos helpful. And as always, you can check out our website for pneumatic schematics, uh, installation procedures, other documentation on the control panel. So hopefully you found this video helpful. Check out our other YouTube videos and visit us at civicon.com. Thanks.